The bees are dying and they're taking everything else with them. Anthony here for D News, and I'm sorry about the outburst, but if you like being alive, then you like honeybees. You know, Einstein supposedly said that if the bee disappeared off the surface of the globe, man would only have four years to live. And that is a bit of an exaggeration, and he also probably didn't actually say it, but I like it. And it's kind of true, because if the bees go, they're going to take a lot of our ecosystem with them. And that's a serious issue, because this last winter, 33% of all the honeybee colonies in the US Die. That is double the acceptable natural amount, and entomologists are warning that we're getting dangerously close to the point where we don't have enough bees to meet our country's pollination demands. So what does that mean? Well, honeybees actually pollinate 80% of all the flowering crops in the US, which works out to be a third of everything we eat. Some examples, bees pollinate 90% of our apples, our cherries, our tangerines. They're responsible for all of our almonds. They pollinate 50% of our soybeans. Think of the lattes. In the long term, it could begin to affect the beef and dairy industries too, because bees are responsible for 60% of our alfalfa, and that could make us run dangerously low on feed for cattle. Bees, man! What are we gonna do about this? Who is saving the bees? Well, we've been tracking colony collapse for a few years now, and we haven't really been able to figure out why it's happening. The EU just voted to ban three different pesticides called neonicotinoids, which are supposedly causing bees to die, but those pesticides came into play in 1990 and colony collapse technically started in the 80s. Bees are often transported long distances to pollinate crops in other areas and there's this theory that it causes stress on their immune systems and exposes them to pathogens that aren't normally in their environment. But colonies that aren't moved are collapsing too. So that doesn't entirely hold up. And a recently released study says that a major problem is that when honey's harvested from a bee colony, their food supply is usually replaced with corn syrup. And see, when bees make honey from local plants, there are chemicals and enzymes in those plants that help the bees' immune system protect them from their environment. Corn syrup obviously does not have those enzymes. But not all beekeepers feed their colonies corn syrup. So what is doing this? Well, a report just came out and said, um, duh, you guys, it's like all of them. They are all terrible things and they are all working together. Entomologists are saying that this is systemic and we need to take multiple actions. We need to either ban or limit pesticides. We need to keep bees in their home environments and keep their food supply healthy. And we need to do this fast because this March, the California almond crop almost didn't happen because there were barely enough bees. And that is a warning sign that this problem is about to hit critical mass. The bees are dying, the fields will lie fallow, we will be and killing each other Anthony, for tangerines. Get yourself together, man. It's gonna be all right. And as for you guys, I'm gonna calm them down. Make sure you subscribe so you can check out our next video. What, what is gonna happen to the tangerines? It's gonna, it's gonna be okay.